Hey, what is up and welcome to this video for Marvel Contest of Champions. I'm continuing my arena cutoff series, um, jumping into round one for Punisher 2099 and Howard the Duck. So let's go ahead and take a look at the numbers. So we always start off with what kind of, um, for the four stars anyway, what kind of champion do I think what they're going to be when it comes to the four star feature and a three star feature arenas it's really simple there's two types they're either a new champ or an old champ so no big shocker here when it comes to the Punisher 2099 he's a new champ and so um, we'll see how those numbers and results have looked in the past to help us figure out what the arena cutoff is going to be this time now when it comes to Howard the Duck this is a little difficult for me because folks in the community there's a, a lot of different difference of opinion about Howard the Duck. Some people can't stand him, don't want to play him at all, would make you think low interest. Well, some others find him interesting. This is his first time available in the basic a four star um, arena. So I ended up just giving him a medium, but I'm tending to think he's going to have a little bit more stronger demand than a typical medium uh, champion. If you think about a medium champion in the past, that's been like Venom, Doctor Strange, those are all in the, the mid 2 million to 3 million range. Karnak, uh, Phoenix, they all kind of fell into that mid interest um, domain. Some would argue even Karnak on the high domain, but um, if you looked at the uh, if you look at the numbers for Karnak, his numbers are pretty low compared to most high demand, like uh, Hyperion, Mordo, etc. So Anyway, when it comes to Howard the Duck, I'm thinking medium for now, but t with a, a, a slight uh, trend to the uh, high demand. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and take a look at the numbers. So when it comes to a four-star new champion, you can plainly see here the, um, the trend are higher and higher numbers, all the way back starting with Angela. When you look at the, the mutant um, champions, Archangel, Cyclock, and Iceman, they were kind of up and down in terms of interest. But starting with Angela all the way up through Carnage, there's just been a steady increase in the number of uh, the, the actual arena cutoff, if you will. When it comes to the mid-interest champs, it's kind of up and down, but always from that 3 million to mid 2 million range with Doctor Strange and Venom being on the lower end of that and Karnak and, um, and Magic kind of being that middle, or I should say that higher end of that range. So again, when it comes to Howard the Duck, I think he's going to fit in here definitely on the higher end around a Magic and Karnak demand, but he might even be a little bit higher than these guys. I don't think he's going to definitely not be a high end with that 5 million, four, high 4 million kind of uh, arena cutoff, but um, probably on this high, higher side of the mid-tier. And lastly, when it comes to the three-star feature for new champs, you can see similar to the four-star um, feature arena, that trend has been going up all the way, starting back with Angela, going all the way up through Carnage. There's just been a steady increase. And I think with both the four-star and the three-star arena, it's been about a 5% to 8% increase on average um, between all these different uh, new champions. So we should expect to see the same for, uh, for Punisher 2099. So with that in mind, let me go ahead and through, go through my predictions. But to be clear, before I jump into this, something also to keep in mind, which is going to tend to, to uh, have the numbers to go higher this time around, and that's the buffer, the uh, summoner appreciation buffer everybody has. I don't know if you've noticed, but with all the uh, PI and the, the rating, if you will, of uh, all champions being a little bit higher, you're getting a few points, a few more points each time, like an extra 100, 200 points. Um, especially with the four stars and the four star feature and basic you're getting a couple hundred extra points with each round and uh, you know 10 times or so that's not a big deal but when you times that out by 100 or 150 however long those streaks go how many times you're doing these fights um, especially for that four star feature that number starts becoming 30,000 40,000 additional numbers to kind of keep in mind especially when you think about the three star arena that 30,000 40,000 could make or break whether or not you get a um, the uh, the three star punisher or not so kind of keep that in mind and here are the predictions that I come up in, plus that steady stream, <laughs> that trend for the new champs of going higher and higher. I think what we're going to look at is a new all-time high again. We continue to see the rosters are letting folks get higher and higher scores. We're going to see for the four-star feature a six point, or sorry, a 16.5 million all-time new high four-star feature um, arena cutoff number. 
now with the um, Howard the Duck, I'm going to say it's going to be 3.25, which is the highest for a mid-tier and definitely the lowest for any high-interest champion um, that we see for a four-star basic. Again, I think it's going to be kind of around there. It may trend higher. If I'm reading wrong, that there's definitely more interest than folks that don't like Howard the Duck, and he's more than a mid-tier, but I'm going to assume he's a mid-tier, so I'm going to give him with that high-end mid-tier number of 3.25 million. And then again, for the 11 to 25 percent, you're right above the last milestone reward, which is 1.55 million. And then coming over to the three-star, we're going to see that ever-increasing three-star um, first arena cutoff continuing to increase. Last time it, for Carnage, it was 1.42 or something like that. Now, I think with uh, Punisher, we're going to see it at 1.5 million. And then with the 11 to 25% off cutoff, you're looking about 675, 675,000. So with these predictions in mind, what are we thinking about for the grind target? So if you're going to grind and you really want to make sure you get Punisher um, 2099 in the four-star feature, you better go all the way to 17 million. This ever-increasing arena cutoff numbers, plus the fact that we're getting a couple extra bonus points each time with that uh, summoner appreciation buffer, I think you should expect at least to see 17 million. You better go to that 17 million to feel safe. For Howard the Duck, this again is a kind of a question mark, but assuming that he sticks around the mid-tier interest, go to 4 million. I think 4 million will also help account for, is he truly a mid-tier or is he a high-interest kind of champion? I think 4 million, you'll be in a safe zone. And then uh, for that 11 to 25% tier, you'll want to go to 1.7 million. And then lastly, with um, the three-star feature Punisher, you better go to what 1.55 million um, to, to feel safe that you're going to be able to get the Punisher this time around. And then uh, for that 11 to 25% tier, you're at 700,000. So again, this is what it's looking like. I'm definitely feeling better about the uh, the new champ, the the Punisher four star and three star uh, predictions and grind targets, just based off of what we've seen over the past, and I'm feeling okay with the uh, grind target and uh, prediction for Howard the Duck, but there is a chance that he might be a high high interest champ, and then you, he'll definitely go over four million, but probably be closer to five million. So kind of keep that in mind again for Howard the Duck, even though I'm setting the grind target at four million. If you think that, you know, I'm reading it wrong, that he's a, a mid-tier, but he's really a high-interest champion, you better go into $5 million to make sure you get him. So anyway, that or these are my thoughts, uh, predictions, and grind targets for the uh, uh, Punisher 2099 and Howard the Duck Arenas. Would love to hear uh, your thoughts, if, especially if they're different and why you think that, especially if you're thinking Howard the Duck's got a lot of interest. And versus a mid interest, um, would love to hear about it in the comment section because I can always throw in a what a prediction score and, and grind target would look like there. If if the community it calls me out and it doesn't think I'm right on that mid tier interest for Howard the Duck, but um, and if you have any questions too, just let me know if I'm if there's a tier you're interested in that I don't have here, like especially in the four star features, where there might be a you're wanting to go more for the crystal uh, shard grind versus um, the actual Punisher. Um, just throw it down in the throw any questions around that in the comment section. I'd be happy to answer there. Other than that, if you like this video, I'd really appreciate a like. And if you like this and other videos I've got in the uh, the channel, I'd really appreciate a subscribe. Thanks a lot for stopping by and have a great day.